All right, we're gonna explain how to play a game called Smash Up. The objective of this game is to get the first person to get to 15 points. And this is one of my favorite card games, especially for two people. Um, to get to 15 points, you gotta do it by winning bases. So let me show you what one of these bases looks like. The most important part of this base is the uh, power points, right? That's what they're called, Karen? Mm -hmm. the, the 20 here in the top left, this is the amount of power it takes before the base is broken, is how they describe it in the game. And that's a, that's a, that's a cumulative. cumulative. <laughs> so Karen, if she had uh, 12 points of monsters on there and I had 8, it breaks. And then you do the scoring. So scoring is first place, second place, third place. And if you tie for second, then both second place people get the two points and there is no third. And no whoever wins, wins is the one who has the most power points at that, at that base when it scores. Right, versus um, whoever breaks it first. It's not speed, it's power. You need to have more power. And you get power by minions. So here's a minion that has a four power. That's the four in the top. Laser tops the and the, most of the times on the list the minions have actions on them and then actions that, that says minion on it and the actions will say actions on it so um, I think we do a good job explaining the bases right was there anything else I missed oh the for, ability yeah the, each base has an ability I can show that to you but you can also choose which base so there's gonna be three bases there's one more base than there are players so three three players means four bases etc um, so we have three bases out and I can play my minions on any of the three bases during the game. So um, you can choose. You can start here and then give up on a base and start working on another one while someone else wins the other one. So that's the fun part about the game. Once one's scored, it's scored usually during t someone's turn. So this base says that after the base is scored, this one, that you, the winner gets to look at the top three cards of the base deck and choose which one to put in next. So every time a base is broken or scored, um, you re refresh it with a one from the top of the deck. So let's just explain a little bit your turn. On your turn, you'll draw one card from your deck, and you get a deck by, this is probably the most fun part of that game, you combine two, I think they call them factions. Mm -hmm. You take two factions and you mix them. So um, I'm not quite sure what the official rules say on this. We've changed it so many times, but we absolutely love to, um, to pick, and the winner picks. So we'll play usually a few of these games in a row. And we have some favorites. The zombies are definitely a uh, favorite by most people who play. We feel like those are really good. And the robots are really good. And the, and the dinosaurs are obviously very strong. Anyways, you pick two, however you want to do it, randomly or by choice, and shuffle them together. You'll take them, mix them together, and draw five cards on your turn. You can play one action and one minion on your turn. And that's it, unless the action or minions say something different on them. So, for example, this action is a zombie card that lets you play an extra minion from your discard pile. You get to rummage through your entire discard pile and pick a um, pick a minion to play it as well. So you get to basically play two minions that turn. So I, that's why I love the, the zombies, is you, you basically have your whole discard pile as your hand. Um, and then here's a minion that gives you... You get to destroy a minion when you play it on a base. So I, Karen had a two robot on this base, and I played this Triceratops. He says destroy a minion of power two or less. That's this minion. So he would go into her discard pile, and I would now have four points on there. So, and the points go down. I mean, they don't, if, if I get rid of two points, it's now it's this base is only out of four of the 20 it needs. It's not out of six. It, it, once the minion's gone, the, the points are gone. That could be a little bit confusing. All right, so just a couple more. Um, there are actions like, um, where are the ongoing one? This one down here, I forget what these guys are called, the gnomes. So we get to play on a base, and it says ongoing. No, if another player's action would affect your minion, destroy this card, and that action does not affect your minion. So it's kind of like a shield, a one-time shield for helping you people prevent people. So um, it stays next to the base until it's removed by an action. Someone can play a card to remove it, or they can just um, get rid of it some other way. Another big part of this game are specials. Um, they're basically the only way that something happens when it's not your turn. So this guy, after if you've played him on a base and a base is broken or scored, he says you get to move him to another base instead of going into your discard pile. So we, we didn't really explain that. But once you hit the, the max 20 points here, um, if she had five guys on it and I had two, all of our guys go in our separate discard piles. Well, this guy's great because he gets to now move to another one, even if you lose, right? So very good to have those special abilities. The ninja 
I will mention has probably the most specials. You can play a ninja right before base is scored, help you take over and win it. They're a little bit more tough to play than the um, the wizards have a lot of drawing of cards, let you play a lot of extra actions. Pirates let you move and kill a lot more of the minions or destroy them. The robots let you play and play and play. This is an example of one. When you play it, you then get to play an extra minion from your hand of two or less. So if you had a bunch of these zap bots, you could play them over and over again until you're out of them in your hand. And then the, the aliens are good. They let you get pretty immediate victory points, put people's uh, minions back in their hands, and they're all about moving people around. So, And in the expansions of this game, you get more decks with different factions. factions. So let's go ahead and show you. I'm going to, like I said, pick dinosaurs, zombies, take them, and shuffle them together. So I'm going to pick robots and pirates. And then you just take the other ones that you're not using and you put them away in the box. So we'll just put them to the side here. All right, we're going to show you an example um, gameplay just of one base. So we'll just focus on this base for now. Again, you can play any of them, but just to give you a good idea, I've got my hand of five. Karen's got hers. First thing, I'd like to make a correction. I think I'm, I'm going to put this in the video earlier, but you actually draw two cards at the end of your turn. And that makes a lot more sense after we did a practice play here and I failed. So that'll help you get a little bit more uh, cards going on. Plus, you have to play your hand right in front of you. So anyways, I'll go first. This, this um, base has an ability at the bottom after it's scored. All mi players with minions here may draw one card. So... Yeah, that's more applicable with four people. We're definitely maybe fighting it here. Two people. Okay, so I have minions in my hand. If you have a hand with no minions, you can show everyone and then redraw. Um, doesn't happen too often. Let's see what I want to play. All right, let's just try to get some power. Power. This one's completely useless to me right now. No discard pile. So we'll do this one. That gives me three power, plus his ability says that he gets plus two power on her turn, or any opponent's turn. So now that my turn's over, I don't have any uh, extra actions I want to play now. I could do some of these, but I'm a little afraid of them getting wasted. So I'll draw two cards and pass it to Karen. Okay, I'm going to play this pirate. If this minion would be destroyed, move it to another base instead. Okay. Now I'm going to play... I'm not going to play an action. This on the base. This is an ongoing. When you play on the base, all my minions um, are not affected by other player's actions. And I will play a walker. Which lets me look at the top card. And... Uh, what's this one say? Is this not affected by all other player's actions the whole time, right? So I don't want that one. This is just going to be a duplicate of that. So I'll discard that. Your turn, Karen. I get to draw two cards. This is what we needed right here, folks. Okay, you may play an extra minion of power two or less. Destroy minion on the space. Destroy that guy. You cannot. Oh, dang, I forgot. Your minions here are not affected by other players' actions. Nobody. I'm pretty sure that means minions actions on their cards as well yeah. not positive but we're gonna go with it this time okay so you have four six seven and on your turn i have seven but just five now so it's my turn so i only have five i gotta get 22 to break this base so five and then she has seven so we got 12 points huh um we need another 10 points to win it Let's see. This should this should do it for us right here. So this is a pretty good a pretty good action right here. So my seven T Rex doesn't have any action, but it is the highest minion in the game. So there's my one minion, and then one minion gains four power until the end of turn. There's four power. We got eleven, uh, thirteen, sixteen on my turn, and then her seven. So that's this base. So now that we've done the base, you take all minions and all actions associated with minions and you put them into your discard pile. So this is where the zombies would really shine, right? I now have access to a discard pile and when I get cards like this one, lets me shuffle cards from my deck back in, that's where it's useful. So, Okay, I love this game. I would highly suggest playing it. Maybe we'll do a full uh, game review here in a bit and show it to you in the future, but thanks for watching.